YouTube channel. My name is Nikki. Vaughn is evidently not beside me. He's working behind the camera. Palagi naman as we speak. Ano nga ba ang iyahandog namin content na mag-ina para sa video na ito? Ito ang 10 facts about our dreams. Ang misteryosong panaginip natin. Number one, everyone dreams, but the purpose of dreams is not yet known even from the neuroscience perspective. Hindi alam kung para saan at kung bakit tayo may mga panaginip. Number two fact about our dreams. We dream in all sleep stages. Kahit nandun tayo sa three stages of non-REM sleep at doon mismo sa REM sleep. But the only time that you can remember your dreams vividly is when you wake up during or around your REM sleep. So when does REM sleep occur? It occurs about 90 minutes after falling asleep. Number three fact, our bodies sterilize when we dream and this is referred to as muscle atonia. But there are some who act their dreams. This is a sleeping disorder called REM sleep behavior disorder. It can cause harm not only to the person who's suffering from such sleeping disorder, but also to that person's sleep partner. Number four fact. The part of the brain which is active during dreaming is the amygdala. It governs our emotions and fears. This is also the reason for our nightmares. On the other hand, the parts of the brain that are shot off during dreaming are number one, the prefrontal cortex, or the one that holds our sense of self or our ego, and the orbitofrontal cortex, which holds our conscience. Okay, number five fact about our dreams. The length of our dreams can vary. It can go from the shortest time of a few seconds and can be as lengthy as 20 to 30 minutes. Number six, fact. The scientific study of dreams is called neurology. Number seven, fact. I found two sources online for this one, but I would like to cite the article created by the National Sleep Foundation, which says that generally we dream at least four to six times a night. Number eight, fact. Nagawonder din ba kayo kung nakakakita ang mga bulag kapag sila ay nananaginip? Those who became blind before the age of five do not have visual representations of their dreams. Para naman doon sa mga tao na may congenital blindness, they may dream through taste, touch, or smell. Number nine fact about dreams. Pwede ba nating makontrol o pwede ba nating madirektahan ng ating mga panaginip o ang ating mapapanaginipan? This is possible and it is no longer a pseudoscience because it is reproducible and testable. Ito ang tinatawag na, yes, alam kong alam nyo to, lucid dreaming. 
May mga techniques ba para successfully ay maisagawa ang lucid dreaming? Yon ang tatalakayin kong facts. Number 10, facts. Bakit facts? Dahil tatlo ang cognitive techniques na ibabahagi ko sa inyo about lucid dreaming. Ano nga ba yung mga viable cognitive techniques that I'm talking about? Una dyan yung tinatawag natin reality testing or reality checking. It mirrors the famous movie entitled Inception. We bring the subject into that dream and they fill it with their secrets. So ano nga ba yung konsepto ng reality checking or reality testing method? The concept is to enhance our metacognition. Ano nga ba yung metacognition na yan, Nikki? It is the awareness or the understanding of our thought processes. Dahil, according to cognitive neuropsychiatry, isang reliable source, ang level of metacognition natin tuwing tayo ay gising ay pareho lamang sa level of metacognition natin tuwing tayo ay nananaginip. It means that if you're able to enhance your metacognition while you're awake, chances are ganun ding kataas o magiging mataas ang level of metacognition mo during dreaming. Ibig sabihin nun, you can lucid dream successfully. Okay, let's now go to cognitive technique for lucid dreaming. Number two. Ito ay my acronym na M-I-L-D or MILD. Ang MILD stands for Mnemonic Induction Lucid Dreaming. Ang konsepto nito ay base sa behavior na tinatawag na perspective memory. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng perspective memory? It is setting an intention to do something later. So, paano mai-apply ito sa lucid dreaming? Itong perspective memory na ito. You rehearse your dream and you visualize that you're becoming lucid. Let's now go to the number three cognitive technique para tayo ay mag-lucid dream. Ito ay may acronym na WBTW and it stands for Wake Back to Bed. It is setting an alarm one hour or two hours before your normal waking time. After which, kayo ay babalik sa pagtulog. So, ano nga ba ginagawa nitong brief awakening na to kung tawagin? Nagkakaroon ng cortical activation ang mga key brain parts na implicated o na-involve sa lucid dreaming. So, those are the 10 facts about dreams. Meanwhile, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. 8.01 p.m. Okay, I hope you like the content. If you do, don't forget to smash that like button and uh, please share this content to uh, other people who might find this content interesting as well. And please consider 
subscribing. Subscribing to our channel. Again, we are the creators of this channel. My name is Nikki. My name is Bon. Thank you so much for watching. See us on our next vlog. Bye!